Hello everybody and welcome to Genshin Impact, or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. I am not entirely sure, but if you give me a second, I'm going to check that my audio is working. It should be. That's part of why I changed my audio setup. Alright, that all seems to be working. So we'll bring the game audio back. There we go. And we'll sit here for a second and see if anybody shows up. <clears throat> But in the meantime, I will discuss why I'm playing this game. And basically just because it struck my fancy. I don't know what it was when it came out. I had heard about it and I was like, eh, that's kind of interesting. Let me look into it. And I found out it was inspired by uh, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is a game that I heavily enjoy. I think sort of with the open world and like the art and things like that, I think is part of what inspired it. Um, so that particularly interested me. Um, uh, like I said, I am not a weeb, so that didn't have any impact on it, and that's sarcasm if you didn't know. Um, what else? It's a gotcha RPG open world game, which I have not a lot of experience with. Um, I know there's a lot of gotcha games on mobile, and I don't play a ton of mobile games, and the ones I do are sort of the mobile games where it's like you check in every so often. Um, so this should be interesting because it's actually on PC. And speaking of which, I've basically, all I've done is boot up the game, so I don't really know anything about it. I don't know if I should be playing it with a controller or with the keyboard. I've heard that people sort of prefer the keyboard uh, because of the whole, like, aiming bows, I think, aspect of it is easier with a mouse instead of with the um, joystick, but we'll see. So we're coming up on four minutes here. So I think I'm just going to hop in and we'll see what happens. This is, like I said, I have no, that's literally the first time I've clicked start. So this is going to be interesting. So what you're trying to say is that you fell here? From I mean, maybe. World? Sure. Ooh, very pretty. Okay. I'm not disliking the art style. When you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? We're getting tons of exposition right now. That's fantastic. Outlanders, your journey ends here. Oh, hi, God. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're going to cut this bitch up. There's a lot happening right now. I literally just started the game. This is probably the most intense exposition I've ever gotten. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, select a twin. Oh my gosh. Which 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 twin do I want? Is there a difference? I don't... Oh boy, which one do I want? Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. There's nobody in the chat to ask. Otherwise, I'd ask chat. Uh, let's go with this twin. Yes, yes. Yes? Sure. We're going to go with this twin. And my name is Basilisk Fang. And confirm. Lumine! Lumine, no! Well, now she's a cube. Ooh, big boom. Let me guess, the big boom did nothing. Nope, the big boom's just gonna make her stronger. Interesting. Oop, now I'm gonna get big boomed. All right. That was a lot, that was a lot. And just like that, the God took away my si- Okay, we're gonna, somebody else is gonna read it for me. Sister, some kind of seal was cast upon me. And I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. Sucks, bro. I'm trapped in this loading screen. Any day now. There we go. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I, don't know. I just got here. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon 
really owes you for that. Otherwise, <laughs> I can't like The lip sync is off, which is funny to me. We'll do our best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. Yeah, are we done with exposition? I like my ponytail. I wish my hair was that long. It's gonna get there. It's trapped inside. Can't go get a haircut. It's gonna get there. Um, press V to navigate. What does that mean? I'm pressing V. So I can use that. Okay, so it's teaching me all this stuff. WASD, left shift to evade, slash sprint. All right, space bar to jump. These are all decently standard, which is how I like it. Anytime somebody goes away from the standard, I get upset. Not gonna press V to navigate. Nope. All right. Oh, I can see I got a little little stamina bar there. Excellent. Left click to attack. Nice. All right. Basic. Super basic. I'm guessing the enemies get harder from there. I like how the sword just sort of floats behind me. On my YouTube channel, I've been playing uh, Nier Automata, and that's what that reminds me of. Um, that's. I think that's one of the other things that sort of attracted me to this game is that it gave off just slightly more anime, like, Nier Automata vibes, because, like, Nier Automata is a Square Enix game, so it's sort of Final Fantasy-esque, so it's still got that sort of Japanese influence. But it's not quite as anime as I'm assuming this one is going to be. When you're near a teleport waypoint, press F to unlock it, okay? And I got experience for that. So, open the world map and select an unlocked teleport waypoint to teleport to that location. Okay then. How do I do that? Do I do that now? Do I... Okay, that was... I did that? I did that. Follow the minimap to your destination. Press M to open the world map. M... There we go. Ooh, it's a big world. Well, I'm assuming it's a big world. Wait, no, I think I can zoom out farther than that. Well, I can't zoom out farther than that, but I'm look I'm guessing it actually extends way farther than what I can currently see. So that's gonna be fun. I like open world. All right. Onwards. This way, right? Can I catch that lizard? Is this very Breath of the Wild? Can I catch that lizard? Come here, lizard. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. And up. Oh, oh, you press F. I was pressing E. All right. Well, I was prepared to press F, but it looked like I could catch the lizard. So this might be even more Breath of the Wild esque than I originally thought. Any more lizards around here? Any more lizards? I'm not seeing more lizards. All right. Hey, strange girl, have you even told me your name? Oh, Paimon, that's right. I, I climb, how do I? How do I climb? Oh, I just walk into it, okay. So very Breath of the Wild. I didn't think it was gonna be this much of a Breath of the Wild ripoff. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? I don't know which which one am I looking for? Are we talking about the 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 goddess slash god slash I don't know they just said god? Uh, that one chick that stole my sister and beat me up is that who I'm looking for? Is there anything fun up here? Hey, if they're gonna go hardcore Breath of the Wild, I'm gonna check every nook and cranny. Oop, I see flowers. Hold on, can I can I like harvest these? The Kala Lily. I will be taking that. Press B to open your inventory. That's a weird inventory button. Why not, like, tab? I told you, if you deviate from the norm, I get upset. Sunsetia. A plump fruit, beautiful like the sunset. That is alright. Well, I didn't get to read all that. But I will be taking this. I'm kind of assuming I have unlimited inventory until proven otherwise. Oop, lizard. Lizard. Aha, gotcha. Lizard tail. Lizard tail that curled up after losing its owner. Very bitter, and I didn't get to read all that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, what? Let me see. I'll be taking this. Ooh, mint. I like mint. Ooh, very nice. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that sort of answers that question. Neat. Do they like grant wishes or something? Among the seven gods, this 
guard controls the wind. Ah, the How god of farts. Sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but but I'll take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. Can you tell me the reason why, or are we just gonna be coy about this whole thing? Prologue, Act One. All right, so there's chapters and acts because I'm in the prologue. All right. I'm going. I'm trying to look over here. Paimon, are you gonna? Oh, I, you stop speaking. Interesting. Uh, so Paimon, are you gonna refer to yourself in the third person this whole time? Because that might get old real fast. I mean, you're cute. Don't get me wrong. You're very cute, but uh. Cuteness only gets you so far. Ooh, hello, can I, what are you? Come here, I want you. Can I attack you? Yes, no, should I be attack? Oh, all right, well, I killed it. But now I have meat, so yay? Did I do it right? Is that what you're supposed to do? All right, well, I hope I didn't upset people by killing that. All right. What else is out there? I suppose I could be sprinting more. Of course, it uses up stamina. Paimon, where'd you go? Oh, you're up here. I left you behind, Paimon. I'll stray wherever I want, Paimon. Don't be telling me what to do. Paimon, you're fast. It's already got more background music than Breath of the Wild does, which is something I enjoy. Can I, so swim to, so do I just walk into it? Oh, I'm wet. That's a condition I now have. All right, you sprint to go faster in the water, which makes sense. Oh yeah, just go up and touch it. Oh look, it reacts when you touch it. That's convenient. All right, we're just gonna let that happen. All right, this is just normal in this world, I guess. If glowing orbs came and struck me in the chest, I'd be concerned. Ooh, I got a map. Oh, okay, so they're like my 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 map generating things. Okay, interesting. All right, that will become useful Ooh, later. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Oh, I felt it all right. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue, and you got the power of Animo. Animo? Can I have the power of anime? Can I have the power of God and anime on my side? Because I've already fought a god. I think I need another god, like, to help me out so I can fight that god. So I need the power of God and anime on my side, because, you know, Genshin Impact anime, they, they go hand in hand, I guess. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Why? That can't be good. Rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. Hey, I am going to question any powers I get for no apparent reason. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. The city of freedom. Mondstadt is America. The city of because they worship the god of Animo. Ah. So perhaps because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. Sure, let's go with that. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. And if they haven't, they can sing me some nice songs. All right. You said let's move, but now you're not letting me move. That's a lovely sign. Are we good now? Hi. I am going to fight you. Press E to unleash elemental skill. What does that mean? Am I? What's going on here? Press E. Oh, it's a tutorial. I just went and straight up killed it. Interesting. Press and hold E to charge the skills for increased power. So like this. It's immune. It said it was immune. Press Q to unleash an elemental burst. Very nice. Oh, it's wind power. I see. They were immune to the fire. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting power? Uh, because your voice gives you super strength? I don't know. Press escape to call Paimon. You can edit hotkeys and- so I'm guessing- okay, so Paimon is just like my- my menu then. Alright. That's nifty. What are my possible settings? Because I haven't even looked into that yet. Graphics? Hold on, I might need to- let's see. Graphics look good. Quality is high. Yeah, I think we're good here. 
Sure. I'll mess with these later if I need to. I'm, but it looked like it actually defaulted to pretty good settings for me. So that's nice. And I have mail. What's my mail? Reward the wings of companionship. Oh boy, I might have to look into stuff later because I don't know if it's actually useful. I got 29 days to to look at this, right? I mean, we can look at it now. What else are we doing? Dear travelers, the special stylized wind wind glider Wings of Companionship has been sent to all travelers who have joined us on our journey as thanks for supporting and encouraging us all this while. Spread your wings and soar across the skies of Tevat. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Again, no idea. Um, Across the skies of Tevat to your heart's content. Note, the dressing room feature is unlocked by progressing in the game. All right, so I will get to that when I get to that. Dear Traveler, thank you for supporting Genshin Impact. Please take these exclusive rewards to celebrate the game going live. Oh, what are these? I don't know what these are, but I will take them. Kaching. Adventurer's Experience, Radish Veggie Soup, Mora. I don't know what Mora is, but I got 2,500. Is that the currency? That probably would be the currency, wouldn't it? And what else do I have? Oh, this guy up here. Dear Travelers, thanks for to your support. We reached 3 million official website pre-registrations for Genshin Impact. I don't think I pre-registered. I think I signed up when I installed the game. We also hit all our social media targets. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff to claim. I'll be taking all of these. Thank you very much. Oh, I could have just hit claim all down there. Ah, but I like to read the stuff. All right. Uh, notices. Wait, I did the mail, right? Oh, I didn't claim the rewards. That's I didn't claim the wings. That makes sense. Boom. Okay. And what else? Oh, okay. Uh, quest stuff. I will look into that later. And we can go, right? Press C to open up the character screen. What does that do for me? Oh, there's me. I just noticed my midriff is bare. That's very sexy of me. Uh, profile, attribute, so wait, attributes, oh, I can level up, that's what it's trying to get me to do, okay, I was distracted by my midriff, <laughs> uh, oh, because I have these things, I can just level up, right, right, yes, level up, level up, why not, right, I'm this all going so fast, so my max HP went up, my attack went up, and my defense went up, makes sense, it is an RPG after all, can I use more of these? Do I want to use more of these? Can I just keep... Now I'm level 6. Do I just keep going? I have the money for it. Or should I hold off? I don't know what I should do in this situation. Somebody tell me. There's nobody to tell me. Alright, I'm going to keep doing it. Oh wait, I can adjust how much I'm using here. I can go through all 10 of them, right? I don't have enough money to go through all 10 of them, but I can go... Or no, I do have enough. Should I just go through all 10 of them? Let's go through all of them, right? Now I'm level 15, there we go. I don't know if I should have done that. I don't know if there's like something game breaking about being this high of a level right away. It can't be that bad though. Left alt to show the cursor and click on on-screen buttons. Oh, well, you guys can't see the cursor. Yeah, you guys can't see the cursor, but I have a cursor. Important message, G. I'm telling you, there's a lot going on right now. Okay, I got that already. I just did that. And I obtained stuff. I'm just gonna sit here and let this do its thing for a second because my lord, a pri primo gem, primo gem. What? I don't. Is that how I do elemental stuff? I don't know. I'm very confused. Now where am I going? Uh, over that way to the city. To the city. That's right. Paimon told me what to do, and I didn't listen. I swim very slowly, unless I'm sprinting, but that uses stamina, so I don't know if that's something I want to do. I'm assuming leveling up this much at the beginning isn't game breaking, otherwise they wouldn't have given it to me, right? Oh, there's another thing for me to kill. Hey, come here. Ah, oh, I can't sprint and slash. Come here, come here, come on. Ah, you're dead. More. That was the wrong button. More. Oh, hey. Is that a dragon? It's a dragon. I just said what it was. There's something huge in the sky. Yep. It's a dragon. You're right, because I probably can't. Ooh, what's this over here? 
Is that a stable? It looks a lot like a stable from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I tell Ooh, hey. Are those Bokoblins? Bokoblins? Is that what they're called? This is way more Legend of Zelda than I thought it would be. Hi, how's it going? I am level 15, so I am- Oop, can I- Yeah, I can dodge, right? Yeah, there we go. Shift. I'm so used to be- Because I've been playing, like I said, I've been playing Nier Automata on my YouTube channel, so I'm so used to just, like, dashing around and dodging all the time. Sweet. Combat knowledge. What's that? Obtaining energy. Absorb elemental orbs and elemental particles to replenish energy. Dealing elemental damage, defeating enemies, or performing other actions might also gener generate elemental orbs. Okay. I guess. Neat. What is going on in here? Can I open these up? Ah, a carrot. Yes. A common chest. I will be taking all of that. I don't know what it does, but I will be taking it. All will become clear later. Excellent. Now what is in here? An exquisite chest. Ooh, these all look very expensive. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to be over here. Am I, you know, again, am I breaking the game? I'm kind of assuming I'm not. What about the, oh, because it wants me to level up. I got more of those level up things so I can use them. All right, here we go. Boop. Hooray. More power. All right. And ta-da. It still says press C to open the character screen. What can I do on the character screen? Collect fruit? I'm going to be collecting fruit. Ooh, I can climb trees. That makes sense. Excellent. Can I jump over here? Nope, I fell out of the tree. Do I take fall damage? Not from that height, I'm sure, but... Another box. I will be taking this. Thank you very much. Ooh, a potato. Excellent. I see a lizard. Lizard. Haha. Uh -huh. Got your tail. Which theoretically means the lizard survives because I just took its tail, right? Ah, water elemental or blob or whatever the hell it is. I'm wet now. How dare you get me wet? And now you're dead because of it. I have lost track of the city, but that's okay because there's fruit. Excellent. Uh, the city's behind me. I'm going the wrong way. This way. Haha. -ha. More lizard tail for me? Thank you. Excellent. Hopefully no dragons attack me. Cutscene. Huh? Look at that. Is it a dragon? It's a dragon with a girl. Don't be afraid. Or a boy. So a boy? I assumed it was a girl. Is he talking to a dragon? It's a boy. Ooh. That upset the dragon. Who's there? It's me. It's me. It's your boy. It's your boy Bassless Fang. Ooh, hey. Do I have to fight the dragon? I mean, I'll fight the dragon, but I don't know if I'm going to beat the dragon. Yuki. That was close. Paimon almost got blown away. Yeah, I mean, Let's I see a red thing up there. What's the red shiny thing? Grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Ow, why'd you pull my hair? Good thing you didn't pull my hair out. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. I'm assuming it was a dragon. Didn't you say it was a dragon? Mm, it definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Is talking to dragons normal? <sighs> of course not. I mean, oh, I, can it be, that? though? I'd like to talk to a dragon. I told you, it's a shiny red thing. Shiny red thing. Like I said, it's a shiny red thing. That's a technical name for it. Let's go take a closer look. I will gladly go take a closer look. I pressed the wrong button. All right. I keep trying to double jump. Why do I keep trying to double jump? Paimon's never seen a stone like this before. So Paimon can't tell what it is. I told you it's a shiny red stone. That's well, the Paimon scientific name for it. Dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay. I mean, we can. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Okie dokie. How do we meet exactly? Did you explain that? 
You just sort of showed up and started bossing me around. Ooh, flowers. Or fruit. Flowers. Fruit. Lamp grass. It's neither. It's a grass. Which means I can probably make bread out of it. I can make lamp bread. Where am I going again? The map. The map. There we go. I keep wandering like half a mile away and then going, what am I doing? And then I found out I was going the wrong way. Ooh, mushroom. There's a lot of things around here. I'm assuming that I'm going to get to a point in this game where I'm just going to ignore most of the stuff that I- Alright, uh, more cutscene. But I'm going to have to ignore most of the stuff that I see because I don't need it. Alright, this one's a girl. I'm pretty sure this one's a girl. Hey, you're not showing your midriff. You have to show your midriff. That's- That's the- I'm trying to set a standard here of, like, showing midriff. The anime god? Yes, I would like the anime god to protect me. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. Amber, you're the most, like, normal name I've heard so far. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, you see, I fell from the sky, and then there was a dragon. I mean... That's what all the troublemakers say. Hi, I'm Bass's Fang, like which is not a normal name. Me. Yeah, like I said, it's not a normal name. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I don't know, I just sort of found it. Emergency food. <laughs> That's even worse than being a mascot. Hey, I was asked. It was given- I was given the option to say that. traveling partners, right? Sure, let's go with that. Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. Oh, trust me, I've seen the dragon. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Okie dokie. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? Hey, we're getting a free pass into the city. Let's just not look a gift horse in the mouth. I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Uh, right. I doubt it. I'm like level 16. Trust you two just yet. Uh, that's rather ru a rude oh, way uh, to speak to guests. I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. You're a knight? You're not quite dressed like a knight. Not that I know what this town I is like, but where's your like big plate uh, armor? Strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake. I mean, Paimon, you're a floating like sprite imp. You sound real fake. Of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Favonius Handbook? I mean, I have something against anything called the Knights of Favonius Handbook. Leave What's a Favonius? I have obtained Amber. All right, I now have Amber. I now own Amber. That's lovely. As an archer, oh, archery. As an archer, Amber is ideal for taking down targets from a distance. Press 2 to switch to Amber. Nice. Press R to enter aiming mode. That's a lot of buttons. Move the cursor to aim. Try attacking the floating anemo um, slime. Anemo slime. Anemo means wind, right? Where's the an- Oh, it's over here. It's floating. Haha. -ha. Is there like- Ooh, excuse me. I had to burp. How much droppage is there with this uh, arrow? Oh yeah, there's a little bit of droppage. Uh, press R. Oh, I'm holding down R. I just have to tap it. Alright, press it again to leave. Alright. Left click and hold while using Amber to enter Amy. Oh, so I can do this too. But I'm guessing when I let go, she just shoots, right? Okay. So if I don't want to do so that... Suspicious travelers. What are you doing in Mondstadt? I fell from the sky. I told you this already. From his sister Ooh, a silver a sword. Really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, a, a sword ex for exercising demons? There's demons? Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. Okay, I mean, what I'm not sure what good posters are gonna do. Doing first. It's simple. You'll understand are you slower? It Hold on. Is she slower than... Ah, it's about the same, I guess. It just She felt like she was moving slower. Alright, so can I equip this sword? Is there any reason to not do that? Alright, so view available weapons. And I have a doll blade. Well, that sounds worse than everything. So, how do I... What do I... Switch... Oh, switch weapon to this. Can I compare stats? Yes? No? Yes? No. Okay, I just have to select it and be like, Oh, yeah, that's way better. Well, it's better. Does my sword type... Again, so... Now I'm drawing on things like The Witcher, where there's a difference between, like, a steel sword and a silver sword. Is there any such difference in this game? Or... Is the sword just stronger and therefore I should take the sword? I mean, it's no matter what, it's stronger. I'm going to use this sword, but. 
you know, questions that I would like answered. And switch. And we're good, right? What are these artifacts? Uh, what are, what? Adventure's pocket, oh, okay. I found one of these, didn't I? So it does this, what, what's going on? So it boosts my HP for that long, but is there like a time limit or is it just do it? I'm guessing it just does it, but it also says I have none. Do I need, I, I'm assuming this stuff will be explained later. And we have, we have Dr. Silver Lotus, which doesn't do a percentage, it does an exact amount. And what's this? This is an adventurer's bandana, which is actually, does. so I'm assuming this stuff will be explained later. Why is there a little thing on my profile? What do I need to know about my profile? My story, oh, story. Um, oh my God, that's, I'm not gonna read that. All right, I will read that on my own time. Neat, all right. So over here, oh, right there. That's what I'm looking for. A waypoint or whatever the hell it is. I move really slow. Hold on, let me sprint. Uh, a hilly churl. Oh, a hilly churl. Quick, get it. That's what it's called. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Yeah. I missed. Hold on. There we go. Now I've got it. These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. Oh, there's their camp. So can I switch to you and just snipe them from here? Nice. He's not dead, but nice. Oh, I missed. How many arrows do I have? Do I have unlimited arrows? Go away. Go away. Aha. You can't even get close to me. Where's your friend? Oh, he's way over there. I'm not worried about him. Oh, he didn't fly backwards. There we go. Seriously, do I have a limited number of arrows that I need to be concerned about? I'm not seeing a number anywhere, so... G... Elemental reactions. Pyro attacks can cause beings to become affected by pyro. When pyro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Aimed shots are great for making precision attacks on enemies' weak spots. Tip, for most for most humanoids, aim for the head. That's a good thing to note, I guess, but also kind of obvious. Um, let's switch back to Basilisk Fang and see what sort of damage we can do to this guy. Lots of damage, it turns out. Neat. <laughs> It. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Though I've got say, I mean, I am level 15 or whatever. With your moves there. Yep, that's how we do it in uh, from where I'm from, which I don't know where that is, but it's not from here. Thanks for the backup. How did it feel? It felt like you did most of the work, but you know, I helped. Barely well, broke a sweat. Mention it. How is it the hilly trails ended up here? I don't know. I don't really care. These creatures I'm just gonna kill like them. The if I see them, I'm gonna kill them. So close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. Yeah, but then I have to go hunt them down if that happens. If they come to us, then it makes my job real easy. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around Storm a Terror. recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Until they respawn. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Your lips didn't move. She's a ventriloquist, apparently. I'll be taking this cabbage. Hey, look, more experience. I'll be taking all of that, and I'm sure it'll force me to use it. So, unless I don't have enough of it, I also, you know, I've been doing a lot of that stuff. Um, that's not how I, yeah, level up down here. Haha. -ha. Wait, do I need, hold on. Is my level universal or does it, do we, does each character have their own level? So like I'm level 16 of 20. She's level one of 20. All right, so we should probably level her up to, oh, that is freaking adorable. Oh my God. That was the cutest thing I've seen all day. That was fantastic. All right, let's level you up though, so that you don't die super easy. And I am running low on, is that Mira? Is that what that was called? Either way, I will get more. It's just money, right? Level Ooh. seven. You're catching up. What you looking for? You 
are way more fun in this character menu than you are in the overworld. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Did I loot everything? I think I did. So now, so now we're supposed to go to the city, right? But what's, like, around here? What's over there? There's a lot here. I like this. I am having fun. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am having fun. I wish I could glide, because I would glide off of here. But I'm pretty sure if I tried that, I would just hurt myself. So I'm not going to try that right now. Oop, well, I fell. All right, but I'm good. Everything is just peachy keen over here. Let me make my way back to the road. Any enemies around here? No, nah, it's pretty clear. I thought you said we were having trouble with these... I'm just going to keep calling them Bokoblins because I'm thinking of Breath of the Wild. But, uh... Bert, 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 I don't remember what they called them. Anyway, I thought you said they were becoming a problem. I don't see any around here. I will be taking these because I haven't... Ooh, Snapdragons. Lovely. They can be eaten once cooked. Ah, there's a cooking component. I'm not surprised. It's very Breath of the Wild in here. That's... What are you cooking? I didn't hear what the person... You responded to nothing? Oh, hi, Lynn. On an empty stomach. I don't know. It says you're an adventurer. Are you another player? Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. I'm sorry. I meant to press F. What should I cook next? I don't know. Something delicious, oh. I guess? Are you travelers from around here as well? No, I fell from the sky, no, actually. We just happened to be passing by. There we go. Now it's some more... What are you cooking? Now it makes more sense. That was good. I see. Welcome, travelers. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. Ah, okay. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Ooh, Thanks experimentation. The the Scientific method and all that. Wilderness survival guide. So, oh, make sure you're full on health? My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. I have literally cooked nothing for you up to this point. How do you know this? That's right. I love cooking too. There's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Chicken mushroom skewer. So it has chicken and mushroom. Where do I get the skewer? I did not mean to hit cook. I meant to pick this up. Hold on. Give me a second. There we go. Pick up the apple and investigate. Is that the barrel? Do I have not have to smash the barrel? Oh, nice. All right. Let's cook. The chicken mushroom skewer. I have plenty of ingredients. So just hit cook. Oh, no. Oh, uh, stop. Yay. Perfect. That was easy. Should I cook more? Or am I done here? I think I'm done here. Am I done? There we go. Neat. That's a thing I did. Do you have anything else to say to me? Is it done? Mmm. Smells good. Why, well, thank you. I tried really hard on it. Let me try. Mmm. <laughs> nom nom. Mm. Nom nom noises. Now that's really tasty. You're indeed gifted. I try. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Do you have any? Oh, I've got some raw ingredients. Oh, well, that answers that. my question. Have them in return for this meal. I will take those. I have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? Paimon, shut up. She's getting us that's free okay. stuff. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. Oh, There's I also will. There's a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter. Ooh, Good food Hunter. And ingredients. Go have. Okay, thank you. I'm for sorry, I cut you off there, but I read oh, faster than you spoke. Leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. Paimon, do you even need to eat? Are you just like, all right? Well, I'll see you, Paimon. I was talking to you, but uh, I completed a quest. All right, I didn't even know I had a quest. I'm Excellent. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm leaving. Uh, elemental reactions.
about hydro. Wet environments and hydro tags can cause beings to become affected by hydro. Is that what happens when you're wet? When hydro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. I think I heard about that. You can mix. I mean, they've already sort of explained it to us. Uh, but I heard you can mix the elements together and get things. So like you can what mix together water and ice to freeze people or something. I don't remember, but wet environments and hydro tags cause being to become. Oh, I already read that. All right. It. It's the same thing twice. Okay. Interesting. Anyway, to the city. But hello there, small child. Are you feeding the birds? His name is literally Timmy. All right. Hi, Timmy. What are you doing? You're scaring the pigeons away. They'll be back. They do come back usually, but what happens if one day they leave and never come back again? Just like daddy. Oh no. Oh, Timmy. Timmy, no. Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Oh, my heart. Oh, Timmy. Timmy. Oh. Oh. Ugh. All right. I will be breaking these boxes. Don't mind me. I will not be breaking these boxes. Never mind. Hi, you are a knight of Favonius. Oh, how come Amber gets to just wander around? And you guys have are stuck with gate duty. Ooh, Swan. Oh, finding someone to chat to would be better than just standing around. All right, I'm gonna talk to Swan. Hi, anything the knights can do for you? Uh, who are you? I'm Swan. I mostly perform sentry duty. I also provide any necessary assistance to our business visitors in accordance with the Knights of Favonius handbook. Again with the handbook. Is there anywhere good to go on Mondstadt? Your silence is concerning. Sorry, I can't find anything at all about that in the Knights of Favonius handbook. I see. You are religiously following the handbook. Hi Lawrence, are you more interesting than Swan? Welcome to Mondstadt, Traveler, how can I help you? Tell me about Mondstadt. Known as both the Crown of the North and the City of Pastoral Song, there are no words that can truly describe the beauty of this city. A new bard arrived in the city not long ago. You should seek him out if you want to feel the true essence of Mondstadt. But the songs he plays are a bit archaic? Ah, the classics, you mean. Those songs date back thousands of years. No clue as to how he knows them. Are there any legends about Mondstadt? You've come to the right person. It's said in Mondstadt a righteous hero often appears at night. But no one knows his true identity. I should stop there, or else I'll keep talking about him. If the acting Grand Master catches me chatting on this on duty again, sorry, I guess I'll talk to you next time. Welcomes you. I will welcome Mondstadt then. I am now adventurer rank four. What's the difference between my adventurer rank and my levels? Ooh, very nice, very nice. I like it. Is that one of the seven? Is that a, a anime? Let me officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Ah, yes, the three essential food groups. I don't know. I couldn't come up with a joke in time. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Thank you. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. Uh, but I like camping outdoors. Not really. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Who's Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. I mean, then why haven't you just taken care of him? I hope she knows something about the god of anime. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. <laughs> My name is not Traveler, it's Bassos Fang, but continue. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillichurl camp. Hillichurls, that's what they're called. I'm not going to remember that. Because all you did was complain, Paimon. Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. Yeah, it's only for people who actually walk around. I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt 
delicacy. Ooh, a sticky, sticky honey, honey roast. roast. That sounds sticky delicious. Come with me. We'll head to the city's uh high ground. Is that what it's called? That's not super original. Press J to open the quest menu. I'm getting a lot of keys here. J. J? J. I the uh, the click to navigate to quest objective. I did that. Hold left alt to show the cursor and oh boy, what's going on here? And click here to navigate to the quest objective. Okay, so it's just two ways of doing the same thing. Oh look, sparkles. Now I know where I'm going, thanks to the sparkles. Well, hello there, young lady. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. I mean, there's somebody right here who Except I was about to speak to. Except for the local near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. That's suspicious. All right, Marjorie, what you got for me? Welcome. Every treasure here is unique, so we don't negotiate on the price, nor do we give refunds. I will browse your items, I suppose? My, this is unfortunate. The shop's been undergoing renovations recently. Well, that's awfully convenient. Drop by next time. Our products will never disappoint. Well, I'm disappointed right now because you couldn't let me in. Can I talk to you in general? I'd like to ask you about something. I'm going to burp. Uh, oh, excuse me. I am sorry about that. That was not what I wanted you all to hear. Uh, oh, I see you're very interested. Uh, how did you come to own the shop? Did I hear you talk about Wolvendom? I didn't, but let's ask her about it. Oh yes, I did see something strange in Wolven in Wolvendum not long ago. Ah, Wolvendum. I'm guessing that's another city with dumb wolves, I guess? I don't know. From the silhouette, it seems to have been a boy, but he was with a pack of wolves, and they seemed very close and they seemed very close, too. Perhaps I was mistaken. I was quite a distance away, after all, and it was only a glimpse. I mean, how could humans live alongside wolves? How strange. Yeah, how strange in this world of dragons and Dungeons, I'm assuming. Oh, doggo. Please let me pet the doggo. Can I pet the doggo? Let me pet the doggo. I want to pet the doggo. I just, I just want to pet the doggo. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. You can zoom in. Hold on. Look at the cute doggo. All right. Well, I can't pet him. And that disappoints me. The Monster General Goods Order Board. Can I order things here? Please write down the names of your desired wares on the slip. Pin it on the order board and patiently wait for the clerk to respond. At Mondstadt General Goods, we strive to fulfill your every need. I've decided to completely rebuild my house from the ground up, going for a whole new look. Bored of having the same old lime-coated brickwork you see everywhere. Uh, one idea crossed my mind when I was down southwest recently. I saw one of those electro-hypo-whatever-you-call-thems and thought those cubes would work great for the walls. Anyway... I'd like to start by ordering a thousand pieces and see how it goes. Hello, unfortunately your request could not be fulfilled. Sorry for the inconvenience. Well, I would like to know the reason for the Hydro What's-Its. Why, hello, Yuri. What can I do for you? Hello, are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, just looking at you, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm just browsing you, baby. <laughs> I envy those who can show restraint when shopping. Once I see an on sale sign, the Mora, ah, Mora, not Myra, or Mira, or whatever I called them before, in my coin pouch goes away like the wind. <sighs> Have you seen my alcoholic scoundrel of a husband by any chance? Oh, okay, so we're not going E-rated here. We're, we got alcohol references. That bumps us up, up to at least an E10. Uh, I hope he's not scurried off to find a drink somewhere. I saw this interesting, hold on, give me a second. There's this interesting lady over here. Hi, you are the you are pushing that dog around, that poor doggo. Doggo, you don't have to put up with this. You can get up and move. Doggo, please, doggo. I just want to pet the dog. All right, Margaret, talk to me. Finally, I have a chance to stop you. I've had my eye on you for a while now. An outlander wandering the plaza is quite easy to spot. Is it my bear midriff? I bet it's the, mare, the bear midriff. That really gives it away, I think. Uh, what are you doing? I'm waiting for someone to invite me for a drink at the tavern. Would that be you? I mean, I don't have a lot of Mora, and I've been using it to, you know, level up. Just kidding. Loosen up a little. Mondstadt is a city of romance. Well, uh, tell me about yourself? Me? I'm just a simple tavern owner. 
I'm sure you'd noticed my tavern cat's tail on your way here. Did I? I didn't stop in or nothing. All right. Well, good talking to you, Margaret. Please don't abuse the dog anymore. All right. So do you just... Hi, Blanche. Do you just have, like, general wares? Hey there. We have quality goods at honest prices. I'll be the judge of the honesty of your prices. What makes Mondstadt General Goods special? Our shop may be small, but we do have a warehouse in Liyue Harbor? Liyue? Liyue. Liyue is probably the easier thing to say. We take pride in having the largest catalog of items and the fastest shipping in all of Mondstadt. Mondstadt? Mondstadt? I'm going to pronounce it differently every time I say it. All right. Can I, like, browse your wares? All right. I cannot. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Hi, you look like an alchemist. And, oh, I can craft or I can talk to him. Let's talk to him. Because I don't know anything about crafting crap. Hi there, are you also interested in alchemy? I guess. Timaeus, are you Timmy's brother? Father? He's looking for his father. Are you his father? Uh, who are you? I'm Timaeus, an alchemy scholar. You may not have heard my name before. You... But I bet you'll have heard the names of Albedo and Sucrose before, I guess. Albedo is nothing short of a genius in the field of alchemy, and his assistant, Sucrose, is extremely talented for her age. Her name is basically Sugar. I am a total amateur compared to them. Well, let's hear about Sucrose and how bad it is for you. <laughs> Sucrose is Albedo's only assistant. She's so lucky to... Uh, Margaret. Margaret, I'm... Margaret, I'm doing something here. Can you... I was, Timaeus, I was talking to you before she sh- <sighs> Look, I know it, she's a woman, and I'm assuming you're interested in women, I'm just sort of assuming. But, uh, she was, you know, yeah, get out of here, alright. She's so lucky to have gained Albedo's appreciation. <laughs> As a born and bred child of Mondstadt, we should all be proud of Sucrose's contributions to alchemy. But her research and interests are a little antiquated, to the point where they rarely render any practical application. If I access, if I, if I, if I access to such a plethora of resources, who knows what I could accomplish? I'm guessing that's supposed to be like, if I had access. All right. Well, I don't know anything about craft and nothing, so I will do that later. Hi, Anna. You all wear basically the same outfit around here with slightly, well, except for Margaret, because Margaret's a thought, but. Hey, what's up? Hi, is there something <clears throat> I can do for you? <clears throat> Uh, what are you doing? I am <coughs> making a wish. I just toss the coin <coughs> into the pool just like this and <coughs> make a wish. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to keep doing the coughs because that's just obnoxious. You must be sincere and do it every day for the fountain fairy to hear you. I'm sorry, I can't stop coughing. Yeah, what's, uh, what, what, what do you want? What do you want, lady? Oh, I've been unwell for a long time. I wish that the fountain, the fountain fairy could help me get better so I can stop being a burden to my parents and my brother, Anthony. All right. I'm sorry to hear that you have this problem. And I wish I could help you because it seems like it would be annoying. So I was over here already, but I didn't talk to Sarah. Welcome to Good Hunter. How can I help you? Oh, you're the one with the, the, the food and stuff, right? I would like to ask you about something. Oh, what can I do for you? Um, well, I already know what it is. Oh, tell me, are there any events happening as of late? Is this like a, like a thing to find quests? There happens to be a salad tasting event going on now. Here you go. If you like it, you can always visit me again. Oh, I literally just had to taste salad. Oh, I got a salad. Nice. Lovely. What secrets are hiding back here? Ooh, there's a lot going on here. And I have all the time in the world, I guess, to explore. That's one of the nice things about streaming versus like doing stuff on YouTube is on YouTube, just for the sake of my own, like uh, my editing or my just my own sanity, I kind of have to like be to the point on things. Um, but you know, streaming on Twitch, we're just sort of hanging out here. We can do whatever we want. And you are glowing. What can I get out of you? 
That is a giant radish, and I will be taking that. That will make salad for days. What else does this city have in store? Hi, who are you people? Oh, look at the little girl. Hi, Flora. Welcome to the... Uh, excuse me. I will try that again. Welcome to Floral Whisper. Do you need anything? I'd like to buy some flowers. Certainly, we have a fine selection, whether you're looking to give a bouquet to someone or even do some gardening yourself. Can I garden in this game? Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, sweet flower, wind wheel, aster, cecilia, small lamp grass, and calla lily. I already have some of these, so you can find them out in the wild. Like, all of these? Can you find these all out in the wild? You can, so I don't have to buy them. But I could, if I wanted to. Alright. I... Don't want to buy anything right now, but do you have anything useful if I, like, speak to you? Um, tell me about your flowers. We carry a large variety of flowers. Are you looking for anything in particular? Tell me about... Oh, tell me about dandelions. We mentioned dandelions when we came to the city. Dandelions are very feathery. They're my personal favorite. Well, they're a weed, so... The acting grandmaster of the knights is also known as the dandelion knight, as I recall. Does she wear yellow or something? She probably learned the power of anime from the dandelions. <laughs> uh, why do you like dandelions so much? <laughs> I wonder. Maybe it's because I've been reading The Fox in the Dandelion Sea. Ah, oh, yes. A classic book, of course. Here, take it. Maybe you'll like dandelions too once you finish reading it. <laughs> do I actually get the... Oh, I actually got the book. I'll be damned. Dandelion, dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway all right, land, but I didn't get to read the whole thing. I got a quest reward for a quest that I didn't even do. Oh boy, can I read that? How do I... What button do I press again? Is it B for my inventory? Do I have access to... Oh, I have a bow. Oh, I can equip that bow. <gasps> that would be so much better. Hold on, give me a second. Where's my character screen? Uh, C, Amber, where the hell... Okay, weapons. Yeah, we want to uh, switch from your crappy hunter's bow to the recurve bow because that is so much better. It is 23 to 38 and an HP boost. That is absolutely defeating an opponent restores. All right. Yeah, we are switching. Thank you very much. And exit. There we go. Anyway, how do I what did that do? All right. I just held sparkles in my hand for a second. Oh, what does this do? Oh, it's a weapon wheel. Oh, okay. So tab does all the things. That is good to know. I actually would have liked that earlier, but um, do I have, is it under artifacts? No, no. Where do I find the, the book or whatever? Is it under items? It's in my inventory. Um, no. No, no, no. Yes, here we go. What does this do? Dandelion, dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway land, the fox chants. An unforgettable Mondstadt fairy tale about a hunter and a fox. The fox in the dandelion sea, an 11 part story, begins here. Can I. Holy crap, it's an actual book that I can read. All right. Uh, dandelion, dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway land, the little fox chanted. He blew the dandelion flower and sent the seeds flying. He then spoke in a more serious tone. May my teacher's wishes ride the wind and reach the anime archon. I'm, I'm going to call it anime because it's way finer to me to call it anime. Uh, a wind blew past us and swept away the dandelion seeds. Did they fly to a better place, carrying my hopes and dreams there with them? One. When did this happen? Some time ago, behind the village, there grew a forest of countless lush trees. At the center of this forest was a small lake. The lake was like the stained glass windows of the Mondstadt Cathedral, crystal clear and shimmering in the sunlight. The sun shone through the leaves and glistened on the water surface like fragments of gemstones. It was really something that, it was really something. The weather was cool that day. I was hunting in the forest when I came upon the lake. The shimmering water somehow reminded me of a girl I loved a long time ago. I couldn't remember much about her, but I felt that her eyes must have looked like that lake, glittering as if holding fragments of gemstones. I became lost in thought as I stared in the glistening water. I watched transfixed along the lakeside, forgetting entire, entirely that I was out for a hunt. When I came, I came to when I heard, I came to when I heard the sound. Oh, I came to when I heard the sound. I was like, what? I did, what is that? Is that English? 
It is English. I came to when I heard the sound of something freezing up. It was a mist flower growing by the lake that had just frozen the water surrounding it. Next to it was a white fox, its tail frozen in the ice. Poor critter. I must have had its tail it must have had its tail in the water by the mist flower while it was drinking. Mist flowers are dangerous plants that can cause frostbite if handled without care. Extreme caution must be taken when handling them. As it saw me approach, the fox struggled in fear, but this only served to tug on its t still frozen tail. The fox whimpered in pain. Oh no, this won't do, I thought to myself. What a poor critter. It's going to die anyway if I don't save it, so I might as well end its pain by bringing it home as my game for the day. I imagined what a delicious fox stew I could cook with the carrots I grew. Just thinking of the hot stew gave me energy and brought a smile to my face. So I took out my hunting bow and slowly walked toward it. Be good and stay put. Ooh, a little bit of a cliffhanger there, actually. All right, so we read the book, and we have the Crimson Crystal, or the shiny red thing, as it is technically called. All right, so, hey, Miles, I saw you first when I came out of the menu. So, have you run into any difficulties? I, what brings you here? Sure. As you can see, I am a Mondstadt guard. Yes, I can see that by your plate armor, because real knights wear plate armor. Protecting the people, travelers, and merchants is my duty. Neat. Cool story, bro. Uh, so we have Quinn and Beatrice over here. Uh, what's up, Quinn? Fresh fruit, only at Quinn's fruit. Quinn! Oh, it's you again. What will you have today? Just a reminder, no discounts. Not even for a friend? I've said this before and I'll say it again. No discounts on the goods because they're worth the price. Everything here seems to be worth the price and there's no returns. Oh, come on. What if I bring you lunch? No discounts, no matter what you say. Wow, ah, Quinn. Well, you know, stick by your principles. Ooh. We have a blacksmith over here, it looks like. Hi, Wagner. Can I help you? Yeah, I would like better weapons, please, and I would like them for free. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something. Well, spit it out already. How good is this smithy? Stupid question. If you really want to know, buy something. Talk is cheap. Pick up a blade and you'll soon know. If even this much eludes you, then you've got a long road ahead of you, run- Alright, well, rude. I'm a guest here. Yeah, can I upgrade, like, any of my stuff? Or just have something made? Did you bring the materials? Let me have a look. I have... Oh, I have some stuff. I have some enchantment ore, right? I have one of those and one of those. Um, but not enough of anything else, it looks like. So, I will be leaving, I suppose. Hi, Schultz. Looking to buy a weapon? You should talk to Wagner. Uh, what are you doing? I'm an apprentice. Name's Schultz. Master's work is pure perfection. I never tire of watching him work. I usually help Master out with odd jobs on the shop floor, getting some downtime. Uh, where I can just watch him work his magic is reward enough for me. Uh, any of your own masterpieces to show me? Ooh, excuse me. I have tried. The results are usually less than perfect, though. Master normally melts them back down again and redoes them. Well, that's kind of rude. There was this one I was quite proud of, but Master wouldn't let me sell it from his shop. Said it damaged his reputation. So I took it out. I took it out the side gate and gave it a few swings. Ended up sticking it in the ground there. There's a group of kids who hangs out over there. Seems to have gotten them interested. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, but can I like, go find that? Is it any good? Oh, well, I have other things I need to do first, but... Uh, go to the location that Amber told me about. Would probably be smart of me to do. It is up this way on the high ground. That's right. Hello? Uh, yes? Hey, Alfred here from the Adventurers Guild Intelligence Department. Got any intel you can share with me? I don't know, do I? Uh, have you ever met someone who looks like me? I know about you. You're the outlander who's just arrived in Mondstadt, right? Wow, you're very on top of things. I've had my eye on you since your arrival. So, you mean to say that there's another person like you? Another traveler from a faraway land? Yeah, supposedly she's my twin. But I don't see the resemblance, other than, like, probably... Did she also have a bear midriff? I don't know. Everybody should have a bear midriff. Bear midriffs for everybody. Alright. 
How strange to think that there are people in Tavot who I had no knowledge of. Well, you see, that tends to happen when you just fall from the sky. Hello, who are you? Are you blind? I don't recognize that voice. Are you a traveler from afar? Though I can't see, I'm always here to listen if there's anything you need. Well, I need to see where my sister went. Haha! -ha. It must be difficult not being able to see. Yes, especially at the beginning. It was hard to adjust. But when you can't see, your sense of hearing becomes stronger. Now, when the wind brushes past my ears, I can almost picture certain things in my mind's eye. And since putting my faith in Lord Barbatos, I sometimes hear the whisper of a soothing voice carried on the wind. My mother, or Sister Grace to everyone else, always tells me that Mondstadt is looked after by the anime Archon. I think she's right, you know? Wow. Cool story, bro. I have places to be. Can I go up here? Which way am I going? Where's my map? It's over there. Okay. Ah, uh, this way is that? Uh, nah, this way. This way. Hi, Raymond. I like your spruce mustache. If you discover anything of concern, you can always report it to me. Is there anything worth visiting in Mondstadt? If it's your first time here, I recommend visiting the Mondstadt Cathedral. I wouldn't mind doing that. If you're tired, go have some of Mondstadt's famous wine at a tavern called Angel's Share. Wow. Lots of wine and other booze around here. Oh, look, dandelions. Ching. All right, now I've activated that. Hello, who's over here? The Black Hound Mercenary. Well, let's talk to Marvin first. Ah, father, please. Oh, you gave me a real fright. Who are you? Ugh. Are you sleeping with your eyes open? I was, until you woke me up. This is an act, you know, something to fool my family, so that this night's rendezvous will not be exposed. <clears throat> it's very impolite to wake someone when they're sleeping, so please refrain from doing it again. You won't find me to be as agreeable as my father. Ugh. All right, well, who's your father? My family name is Goth. Get the picture? No, I don't. I don't get the picture. My father is the general manager of the Goth Grand Hotel. Don't be fooled by his Mr. Nice Guy act. He's being completely obstinate and unreasonable on the matter of my marriage. That's why all I can do in the middle of the night is to... To... Wait a moment. You haven't been sent by him to get me talking, have you? I have never met this man. Go away, get out of here. I'm wide awake. I'm not in the slightest bit sleepy. Ugh. All right, Marvin, you seem like a very nice person. What do you think you are doing? Uh, who are you? Sharp. Master Goth's PSD. What is, what is PSD? Personal security detail? If you know the first thing about me, you'll keep away from my VIP. All right, uh, well, VIP is very important person, but what's PSD? Of course, you wouldn't know. PSD, Personal Security Detachment. Okay, that was close. Bodyguard. We take the hit so our clients don't have to. Personally, I much prefer Merc for Hire, but now that I work for them, they've insisted on PSD. I mean, Merc is cooler, but yeah, I suppose the rich people don't know what anything should be called. All right, am I going the right way? Yes, up the big stairs. That's probably the right way to go. That's the high ground. Ooh, very pretty. The city itself is huge. Hi, Luke. I like your mask. Ahem, the goth hotel has been reserved for the Fatui delegation alone. No access for unauthorized persons. Well, how long have you been standing there? You trying to get me to abandon my post? Surely you don't think I'm falling for that. Loyal Luke never abandons his post. I must keep watch over the <clears throat> diplomatic mission. <clears throat> Almost let it slip there. Anyway, no loitering for unauthorized persons, so get out of here. Get out of here. Hi, Sansa. You have the same name as a person from Game of Thrones. Perfect timing. Listen to this. Goo goo good evening, la la ladies, and, and, and. Wow, okay, needs some work. <sighs> I still can't do it. As soon as it's a performance, my stammer just gets out of control. Have you seen anybody around that looks like me? Someone who looks like you? Yes, I believe I have. Ah, yes, Bear Midriff. Very recognizable around here because nobody else seems to have one. Now, where was it? Ah, yes, I remember. It was when I was a child. No, that's not, all right. 
That was my favorite picture book, that was. The protagonist had beautiful blonde hair, just like you. Oh, well, thank you. I've been working on it. Oh, looking for a relative? I'm sorry, I misunderstood. I've never seen anyone that looks like you in real life. No. As it happens, you have a very distinctive appearance, so I'll keep a lookout. Yep, you know, long blonde hair, bare midriff. A billowing cape, I guess? I don't know. You people have no sense of style around here. Hi, Herman. Wagner's swords are all so expensive. <sighs> uh, what are you doing? My baby girl, Ellen, is almost old enough to sign up with the Knights of Favonius now. It's what she's always wanted to do. I was going to give her a sword for her birthday this year, but it's so expensive. Maybe it's true that I've got nothing left going for me now. I'm not an adventurer. Especially now I've spent the last of, my, of the mora I made when I was forced... Eh. When I was forced to sell myself... What? When I forced myself to sell my trusty sword. There we go. Cool steel all those years ago. That's a sad story, but not as sad as the fact that Timmy doesn't have his dad. All right, we're almost there. Hello, what's going on over here? No, don't get distracted. Yes, get distracted. No, yes. What's going on over here? Hi, Porthos. Welcome. Uh, what is this place? The Knights of Favonius headquarters. You don't look like a troublemaker, so you can go on. Oh, so we're just going on the honor system here. All right, you can just profile me too. Like, you know. All the white people can go in, but anybody with dark skin, ho 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 no. Sure, let's go in, why not? Oh look, a loading screen. Just enough time for me to drink my water. That went faster than I thought it would. All right. What, what is that? Okay, so that's just an animation you do when you're bored? All right. Uh, Wyrit. Hello, how may I help? What is this place? The main hall of the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Please keep noise to a minimum. Please wipe your shoes before entering the library to avoid taking any dust or dirt inside. All right, well, I've already walked. Oh, look. Did I leave that behind? No, okay. Am I supposed to be here? I'm supposed to be here, aren't I? Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Am I supposed to be here? I would. Welcome to the Knights of Favonius. How may I help? Where is this? This is the main hall on the ground floor of the Knights of Favonius headquarters. On this floor, you can find the library and the Grand Master's office. Oh, well, I am supposed to go see the Grand Master. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at any time. Uh, one of those doors is locked. I haven't tried them yet, but uh, I guess it's locked. Ah, that room's not open to outsiders. Well, it doesn't involve some internal secret of the Knights of Favonius or anything, that room is actually a solitary confinement. To be honest, this room has more or less become the Klee's private property. Oh, Klee, it's just not, it's not the Klee, it's just Klee. Every time she's locked in there, you can hear some cr some crackling noises, like she's researching new explosives in there. I'm sure that she won't ignite any of, the, of her bombs in there, but if she ever slips up, it just worries me. I would like to meet this Klee and recruit them to my party. All right, well, let's see what's through this door. Ah, the library. Dude, oh, there are lots of shiny things in here. Can I pick these up? Hex and Hound, five. I will not be reading these at this time, but maybe later. Uh, Stone Tablet Compilations, volume one. The Hillichurl Cultural Customs. Hillichurl, uh, Hillichurl Cultural Customs, two. Anything else in here? Oh, wait, there's tons of stuff in here. What am I doing? I did not read that. Uh, Vera's Melancholy. Anything over here? The Boar Princess. The Boar Prince. Uh, these are not in any sort of order. Do you guys hit the Dewey Decimal System here? Because these are not ordered correctly. There is a lot of stuff in here. Good lord. Excuse me while I fetch these items. Uh, two things. Ah, the fox and the dandelion sea. But that's like part 11, which I'm not up to yet. Um, Ferris Melancholy. Who said that? Who's in here? No talking in the library. Ah, 
That's what I thought. The boar princess. Who's back here? Oh, hi, little girl. <laughs> Ella Musk. <laughs> Ye Ika Gusha Mosi. Uh, who are you? I am Ella Musk, professor of Hilturian linguistics. Specifically, I specialize in applied grammar for vernacular Hilaturlian. Uh, about Hilaturlian. Oh, are you interested in these things as well? If you're really interested, you read this book first. It's very interesting. Did I get it? Oh, I did get a book. Well, that's part two. It's not part... How, why am I supposed to read that first if it's part two? Also, are you supposed to be like an Elon Musk joke or are you literally just... All right, that sounds like a swear word. Anyway, that's an interesting person that I just met. There is melancholy. Um, what else? What else? The Fox and the Dandelion Sea. I will be taking that. Since I've already started reading it, I am now hooked. Hex and Hound. Stop swearing, little girl. Hex and Hound. Poor princess. Hold on, did I pass that? There it is. Poor princess. Um, a drunkard's tale. That's a new one. Hex and Hound. Fox in the Native Lion Sea. I'll be taking that. Did I get everything? No, there's still lots of shiny stuff around here. Stop swearing. Fox in the Native Lion Sea. Boar princess. Breeze amidst the forest ballad section selection excerpt. Fox and Dandelion C. What else do we got going on here? Looking for shiny stuff. Anybody got any shinies for me? I'm really close to my own face. Did I get everything? At least down here. Did I forget anything upstairs? I probably did. Oh yeah, I forgot lots of stuff upstairs. I'll be taking that. Fox and Dandelion C. Poor Princess. Am I getting duplicates of any of these? Oh, hello. The library rules. Hold on. Library rules, seventh edition. How many editions do you need for just rules of the library? There were several editions of the library rules, but none of them were particularly useful. Well, is this one going to be any more useful? So all unnecessary rules were abandoned in this edition. All users of the library should obey the following rules. One, please keep quiet in the library. Two, please do not damage the books. Three, please remember to return your books on time. I'm just going to take these with me. These, these aren't coming back. I believe everyone knows how we deal with violations, so it will not be repeated here. We hope everyone can abide by the above rules and make good use of the library. What do you do to people who violate the rules? And I obtain more stuff. Drunkard's Tale. Anything else up oh, right here? I will be taking this and this. All right, now do I have everything? I think I have everything now. Oh, nope, right here. Box in the Dandelion Sea. That's the first one though, I already have that one, right? So there are duplicates. All right, I am not going to be reading any of these right now, but I have them for later. What is through this door? Stop swearing. There is nothing through this door. I just shove my face into it. All right. I will be leaving. Oh, nope. There's more stuff. Hold on. Hilichurl Cultural Customs. And Hilichurl Ballot Selection. Is there anything else? All right. I'm leaving before I see anything else. Where... Is the captain of the guard or whatever the heck her name is. There is nobody in here, but it kind of looks like the place. Hello? Hello? Do I, should I sit at the desk? Hold on, give me a second. All right, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. I am going to sit at the desk. Whoop! Aha! I am in charge now. I fell from the sky, and therefore, I am taking over your city, and you have no reason to question me because I fell from the sky. 
Send in my first customer? My first customer, yes. We are now a store. We sell things. We sell uh, hourglasses and uh, quills and uh, whatever the hell that measuring device is. All right, we've had our fun. I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to leave. I thought this was the place I was supposed to be. Ah, whatever. I am still going to explore because I'm here anyway. I cannot go upstairs. Alrighty. That's a weird way to stop me from going upstairs. I keep pressing E instead of F. Anime Garana. Sometimes in the wild you may see a mysterious kind of life form called an Anagranium. Those curious beings, they'll follow travelers around, gather several and all right, and something will happen, I'm guessing. Oh boy. All right, so I, oh, it's time to go this way. All right. Oh, I understand. I understand now. Excellent. All right, so I require a bathroom break. So I'm gonna go on standby here for a hot second and I will see you in, I don't know, give me like, Two minutes. Two minutes. I'm going to go on standby. I'll be back in two minutes. All right, and I am back. That was probably longer than two minutes, but who cares? All right, and back into the game and blah, blah. Excellent. We are going to go to the location designated by Amber now, I think. Oh, hello. Who's this back here? Hello. Who are you? Is this a training ground? Are you training? Do you want to train? Hi, Ellen. Do you need something? Sorry, I'm all sweaty. Oh, no. That's the way I like them. I don't know why I said that. Why'd I say that? I don't know why I said that. 
Oh, uh, what sword style is that? I didn't see the style, but uh, what sword style is it? Oh, I'm copying Master Jean's technique. Oh, well, I haven't met her yet, so... Cool, I guess? Every time she wields her sword, you just know it's the Grand Master at work. Only those of great character can use sword fighting style like that, right? I mean, maybe, I guess, I don't know. It seems like I can't just focus on power training. I need to start building character too. Okay. Neat. 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 Whatever. Do I need to change where my camera is? Maybe I should do that. Ah, but then you block, I don't know. Maybe I, I'll, I'll work on that later maybe. Does anything show up in the bottom left hand corner? Maybe I can move my camera to the bottom left hand corner. Hold on, let's try that and see if that does anything. Let us... Da, 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 da. Oh lord. I don't usually do this on the fly. Let's see if this works. We're gonna slowly move me down. We... Because the way I had this set up, I can't just drag it around. It's not gonna work. It will screw up everything if I just drag it around. Alright. So how's it going? Everybody having fun? Well, I slowly drag myself down the screen. Hey, I've got zero drop frames. That's something. I don't think I've ever had a stream that go this well from a technical standpoint. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost. 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 Almost there. Almost. Yes, there. 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 Sure. Let's do that. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada ba boing. There. That should be better, right? Now you can see the objective and the mini map. I don't, I don't think I've seen anything pop up in the bottom left hand corner in a long time. Or at all, for that matter. So maybe the camera is better down there. Okay. Glad we figured that out. Alright, I go way slower up the stairs. Hello. Oh, there's people up here. Hi, welcome to the high ground. Oh, hello. What is going on over here? We have Susie, Monroe, and Saeed. And Grace, who is a nun. I don't know, that skirt looks awful short for a nun. Hi Grace, how's it going? If you wish to pray to Barbatos, you can do it here. Um, sure? I don't think that's what nuns wear. Like, I, I'm all for showing midriff, because that's sort of my thing, is showing midriff, but you're showing a lot of chest for a nun. Ah, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Recently, there's uneasiness in the air, so I'm praying to Barbatos. Be at ease, Barbatos will help us. Excellent. Well, good for Barbatos. Tell me about Barbatos. Barbatos is a very gentle Archon. His wind grants happiness to the people of the city and wipes the tears off their faces. Well, that's good for him, I guess. Or her. Hi, I was talking. No need to interrupt. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I saw another option down here. What was it? About those unsettling omens I keep seeing. No matter what the cause may be, all we can do is pray. I mean... And we can also stab things with swords. I have a sword. I'll go stab things. Tell me what to stab and I'll go stab it. I had some adventurers help me collect some Cecilia buds to give everyone. These flowers grow on top of cliffs, whisked by the Mondstadt winds. Perhaps these flowers that emanate the essence of Barbatos can bring some peace of mind to everyone. Here, please take some. Hey, I'll take free stuff. I'll take any sort of free stuff. Everything we have is a blessing from Barbados. Oh, Barbados. That makes sense. I've been calling it Barbatos. Barbados. I'll try to remember that. I really envy those with the god's eye. May the god of animo protect you. No, the god of anime. God, the people are talking a lot. All right, do I want to talk to any of you? I'm gonna talk to you because you actually have a title. Hi, Saeed. Nice mustache. Hello, friend. You want to talk? Uh, made any discoveries? I was reading up on some Mondstadt historical myths previously. Fortunately, the library has a wealth of resources for reference. All of the of all the myths and legends in Mondstadt, the one I'm most fascinated by has to be the legend of Vanessa. 
The spirit of freedom prized by Mondstadt must have been modeled after her. Courage in standing up to injustice and oppressive rulers. Even as an outsider, I am deeply moved. Hey, I'm not from here either. Where's your midriff? You have to show midriff to show that you're not from here. My focus has shifted to the songs of Mondstadt of late. I'm done with this book now. Just remember to return it to the library once you finish reading it. Nah, it's not gonna get back. I'm sorry. The Legend of Vanessa, part two. I really envy those with a god's eye. No, you don't. Well, hello there, Nora. What are you doing on the high ground? What's this? You want to play with me? Um, sure, I guess. Uh, where are your mom and dad? My dad is Patton. General Patton? He's at that place where all the drunken uncles go. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That's not as sad as Timmy. Timmy doesn't have a dad. Dad has a busy job, so I play by myself a lot. Well, you can go play with Timmy. Timmy's not doing anything. He's just looking at birds. He's just looking at the birds, and the birds flew away. So you can go play with Timmy. Um, well, we'll go to the objective marker, I guess. So, the present I want to give you is... I forgot you were going to give me a present. Oh, I clicked out of the screen. Hold on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you didn't see that, but I startled myself because I was like, ah, what happened to my game? All right. A wind glider. Oh, I will take that. I will be taking that now. Give it to me now. Alligator now, give it to me. Give it to me. Wind, give it to me. And the people of Mondstadt love using them too. That seems like a weird hobby for everybody to have. To give it to you so you can experience it right away. Neat. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind uh, yeah, Paimon, we all are. Of Mondstadt. Uh, I thought freedom was. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. Sure. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. All right, I'm paying attention. You have my full attention. You're, you're my full, my full attention. Press W to move forward. Okay. Okay. Press space. Press the space bar to glide. Oh, I have wings. Whee! This is fun. And it uses stamina, just like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Hi, Amber. I'm coming. I see you down there. Give me a second. Hold on. All this progress I made to get up here. There we go. Yay, cutscene. The sky. Uh oh, is it the dragon? Uh oh, it's a dragon. I do like some of the cinematic stuff in here. It's a very nice touch. Oh, well, everybody's panicking. <laughs> Whoopsies, that's a problem. Oh, now I can just hover here. Okay, that, that, that works. Now I'm way up in the sky. And loading screen. Huh? How are you staying afloat like this with just a wind glider? I have no idea. I'm preventing your fall with the power of a thousand winds. That's convenient. Now, concentrate. See yourself grasping the wind. Harness its energy. I don't know how to do that. Who? Who said that? I don't know. Who are, yeah, that's that's the next question. I... Oh, I can shoot! Oh, that is... Odd? That's odd. It's odd. This thing that I'm doing is odd. Alright, well, shooting a dragon in the back is not particularly exciting. Do I have ammo? Ha, this dragon's only level 10. I'm like level 16. Do you have a weak spot? Is it the sparkly things on your back? Does it matter? Since it looks like you're not even going to attack me and I can do this really easily. Yay, I win. Right? Yes, no, maybe so. Alright, that was... Easy, I guess. Was there a reason for that? Just to teach me, I guess. That's a weird way to teach me. 
there's a lot of hardcore exposition in this game. And when I mean hardcore exposition, I mean it's not like, oh, welcome to this new place. You can do this thing. It's like, no, here's a freaking dragon. Hello, who's this? Are you a dragon? You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you? Uh, yeah, I mean. Or a new storm. I don't know. You don't. You seem very sinister. So. Storm. Terror storm. Is itself. Why? Why is it doing that thing? Kaya, traveler, you've come at the right time. We must. Oh, your name's Kaya. Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? You're supposed to be a friend, but you sound very sinister. Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. Ah, we have a cavalry. These two are travelers from afar. Uh, I mean, I'm from afar. I don't know where Paimon's from. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Well, that and I show my sexy midriff. Uh, long story short. Okay. I see. And now we're all caught up. Welcome Excellent. Excellent. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. Is it the worst of times? I know my... Wait, no. Charles Dickens. I was going to say Shakespeare, but that's not Shakespeare. That's Charles Dickens. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. Ah, oh, man, that's got to suck. I'm not hey, did you ever sure talk to Timmy? Because he's also missing his family. The anime but god. Let's get this right. Secrets, right. Sure. <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. I kind of like to press you for more, though, because you seem sinister to me. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Ah, uh, you're welcome. So, uh, where's the reward? Uh, uh, how about a traditional Mondstadt delicacy? Yes, give me the honey roast. Honey roast. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. I mean, they all ran inside, so I'm not sure they, they saw it at all. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. I was already there, but I'll go back. ka -ching. Oh, the dressing room is unlocked. Collect unique wind gliders and- Ah, right, I was not done reading that. How come everything else I have to click out of, but that just, like, went away? <sighs> Press C to open the character screen. Wait, can I, like, do it from here? Or do I have to actually find- Oh, I can just do it from here. Ching. So we have wings of first flight. We have the wings of companionship and the wings of dissension. Special reward for players on the. Well, I don't have a PlayStation 4. I'm playing on the PC. So which are the ones that I got? I mean, they're both four star. They're all four stars. They're different. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go on the looks. Um, those are very bird like. But this is very cool. It's like a cape. I like this one. We're gonna go with this one. Switch. Excellent. All right. So we did that. And now we have to do stuff. Ah, yes. Look at my midriff. All right. Now we have places to go. Right. Can I glide down? <sighs> we. Look, ma, no hands. All right. This seems to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. I know, I was here already. Uh, let's talk to Paimon. Is there a reason to talk to Paimon? No, let's just go inside. Paimon, the best travel companion ever. I think that's, uh, it remains to be seen. I have no proof of that. Uh, hello, who are you? You're like the only other blonde Gee, person I've seen around here. That's not so true, hurry. but... I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... We must relax. what? Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. All right. You're not showing your midriff. Everybody needs to show their midriff. Gee, Everybody right now, just show your midriff. Show your midriff. <sighs> they don't have to be all pissy about it. And once it was over, I brought them straight here. Ah, yes. More exposition that happens under a black screen. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. Hi, Lisa. I'm not returning the books that I took. <laughs> oh, 
Are you sweeties here to help us out? Hey, sweet talk will get you nowhere. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. It'll get you everywhere. <laughs> Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Nah, I, I'm, I like dragons. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. Oh, nobody's mentioned ley lines up to now. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. Well, that is an odd thing to share with the rest of us. If it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. I think we have bigger problems at the moment. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. I really should help out as well, yeah, sure. Paimon, you have done nothing helpful thus far. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Yeah, Please like I said before, let them come to me, power, so I don't have to go find them. Magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Ah, temples. Storm Terror's ability Fairy Breath of the to Wild. Help these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands what's, what's, why what we the are other... only dealing with three. I no. Paimon doesn't. Yeah, thank you, Paimon, because I don't. It must be a local thing. Favonius, time All right, so we're just us. not going to get that exposition. All right. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. So nobody's going to talk about why there's only three temples when there's actually four temples. Wish features. All right, I didn't read that. Shop unlocked. Yay, let the stardust and start. All right. Well, press F3 to make a wish. How does wishing work? A beginner's wish. 10 set 20% off. Ah, is this where the, the money aspect comes in? This is a free game, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know. The idea, I'm assuming, is you pay for the gotcha stuff to get, like, more things. Um, but, uh, oh, every time wishes is guaranteed to include at least one four-star or higher character. Oh! Oh, we get characters this way. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, so it's free for anybody to pick up. Um, and then they want you to buy stuff in game, which is fine. That's fair. They got to make their money somehow, but I am not sponsored by this game. So I am not going to tell you to buy anything. In fact, I don't plan on buying anything. So unless somebody wants to sponsor me and my zero viewers, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't buy anything if you don't feel like it. In fact, I don't, I'm just going to flat out say, don't buy anything until somebody wants to pay me to say otherwise. All right, um, how does this... Oh, I see, so I can use eight, which it says 20% off because it's a beginner's wish, right? And so I can get 10 for eight is basically what it's saying. Let's do that. Let's do it. Oh, how exciting. Ooh, yay. What do I get? Tell me. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, a three-star item. Ooh, a bow. Called Slingshot. That is another three-star item. That might be better than the recurve. Well, the recurve was also three, wasn't it? I have to check that. The Sharpshooter's Oath. Also one to look into. I'm getting a lot of bows. Ooh, a sword. Finally. The Harbinger of Dawn. Throwing Tales of Dragon Slayers, which I already have. Ooh, what's this? Black Tassel. Is that like a... Is it a spear or is it a scepter? Ooh, hello. Noelle, a four-star character. Nice. Hi, Noelle. Nice to meet you. You have a big sword for such a little girl. More thrilling tales of dragon slayers. An emerald orb. Sweet. Most of these things are new to me. Except for the two extra copies of the dragon slayer stuff, which is fine. And I got extra masterless stardust, which I don't know... What that does. Currency used to purchase rare resources from the shop. Surplus Stardust of Destiny. Perhaps it can create new destinies when in large enough quantities. Interesting. Cool. Alright. So I used... 
Eight wishes for that. What do the rest of these things do? The ballot of probability increase every 10 wishes is guaranteed. Uh, so, oh, these are different. These are different sets. Is that what I'm getting here? So like this one, you can get Noel. This one, you can get Bainty as a five star or one of these other girls over here. I'm just trying to understand. And there's time limits on them. Okay, interesting. These are for good items. The epitome invocation. Ooh, wanderlust invocation. You can get Jean in this one. Interesting. Okay. So I don't fully understand this, but I do know one thing, which is that you should save your wishes until you have at least 10 of them. Because every time you spend 10, you get you're guaranteed at least one four star. Getting five star stuff, I think, is very rare in general. Doesn't matter how many you spend. Uh, but if you do 10, you're guaranteed a four star. So tip number one, only use, only buy when you have 10. Don't buy if you have less. That's my tip. That's a freebie for all y'all. All right. So meet Lisa at the temple. I shall go do that, I suppose. Right? Do I have any reason to talk to you? Oh, wait, I have a sword. Hold on. I would like to see if these items are better. Uh, weapons and switch and okay so this is 39 plus it does critical damage when HP is above 90% increases crit rate by 14% all right I am going to switch to that because it is better and then if I switch to um amber we can check her weapons and switch and we have a lot of bows now. Uh, so 38 is what is the price to beat here. Uh, that one is also 38. This one's 39. And this one's 40. So 40 is definitely significantly more. Um, and this is a fire weapon, right? Elemental mastery. I don't know what that does. So this does crit damage. That's the one that does HP. This does crit damage. So I think we're going to use Ravenbow, right? Because that's better. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. And then we unlocked the... We got Noel, who is... Oh, they, they have elements here. Okay. So I have Enemo. She has Pyro. She has Geo, but she also has a massive sword, the the Waster Great Sword. All right, so I have nothing else I don't think to give you. No, we just have the one. But very nice to meet you, I guess. Welcome to the party. All right, so we got I got small sword. She's got big sword, and we also have a bow user. So wait, can I set her? Or am I not allowed to do that yet? I have the character, but she's not on the side. Do I need to equip her? Hold on. Let me check that. Does she need to be equipped in any way? I'm not seeing anything that suggests that she can be equipped. Maybe it'll tell me later. It'll probably tell me later. All right. We need to go to the temple. Yes, to the temple. I think. I don't know. Not totally clear where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm having fun. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make oh, sure I am. Oh, no, now Noel's on the list. Okay. We so yeah, we have Noel. Going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. I already met him. He wasn't very nice. Yes, I saw that I have Noel. What are we? Yes, I have. I already did this. I did this before I came out. Oh, I can enhance a weapon. Hold on. We can enhance a weapon. What does this do? What is this? You're not telling me what this does. All right. There is auto add. We can, oh, we can turn in things. That would, let's do it. Bling. And it leveled up from 30. Oh, that's actually a significant level up. Oh, ooh, that is actually really nice. All right, I don't know how that happened or why we did it, but now I have a much better sword and I am okay with that. Can I level up any of Amber stuff? No consumables. How about two 
Ooh, star. Oh, so I can upgrade the bow. I can upgrade it 14 levels. Hot. Damn. All right. Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Yes. Yes, I should do it. YOLO. Awesome. We basically doubled its stats. Excellent. And Noel is just going to have to suck it because I used all my stuff up. Um, uh, and the temple is this way, but you said we should visit the blacksmith. Should we actually visit the blacksmith? Like I said, I already kind of did that and he was a little bit of a jerk. I meant to glide. I didn't glide, but I did not take damage either. Where is the blacksmith? He's this way, right? We. Yeah, he's down there. I see him. I see him. I like how everybody went inside and he's just like, nope, got swords to make. Hi, Wagner. There's the blacksmith. Yes, I found the blacksmith. <sighs> Why? I am looking for a weapon. Oh, well, no, I want to find a weapon for Paimon because I'm doing pretty good with weapons, but Paimon is being. Yes, you are small and annoying. She's a front line. One, isn't she? They need to be purpose built. Well, that just sounds expensive. Wow, he just bespoke weaponry? Of course. I, I sell weapons. Is that what you are, Paimon? Paimon, I know nothing fight. about you. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Ah, I don't have that. I don't have that. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen. I'll tell you where the merest deposits are. Yes, please, because I have no idea. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. Great, no thanks. Need. I have other things to do. All right. Well. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Yes, we know this already. We said? Hi, what are you doing out here? Everybody else went inside. I can't talk to you. You are just cowering in place. What about you? Are you also cowering in place? Everybody's just cowering in place. <gasps> doggo. Doggo, 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 doggo. Pet the dog. I want to pet the dog. I wish I could pet the dog. Why can't I pet the dog? Why don't developers let you pet dogs? Oh, dude, you are not taking this well, are you? All right. Well, we need to go outside to go to the temple because it's actually decently far away. So long, everyone. Have fun cowering in fear. Hello. Is there anybody out here? Anybody? So I'm seeing glowing lights and I'm guessing... Oh, there's actually more. There's a lot of them. So the red ones are probably the waypoints. Are the blue ones the temples? There's three of them. So I'm guessing the blue ones are the temples. Yes, that's my assumption. Well, this one's real close. Excuse me. Is anybody here yet? I'm supposed to be meeting. Oh, hi, Amber. Wait, hold on. I'm seeing double. All right. <laughs> hi, Amber. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the four winds. I'm going to guess it's not so deserted. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. Well, it's right outside. Why don't they come here? There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. Well, then it's not abandoned. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Uh, Storm Terror? Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Ooh, why? Huh? Yeah, see, Wait, that Paimon and I are on the same page. Feel that? No. The wind here. Something's off. I don't Let's go understand. Look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. I'm just disturbed by your lack of knowledge of this area. And can I just go inside? All right. The Temple of the Falcon. Neat. Uh, the deep within. Yes, yes, yes. Deep within the temple, the Knights of Favonius had been mobilized to contain Storm Terror's destructive rampage. Venture forth with Amber the 
Outrider to the Temple of the Falcon and stop Storm Terror from gaining the power within. I will start this quest. And I have everybody with me that I need, right? Right. Noelle, you're a little low on levels there, but I think Amber and I are high enough to make up for it. Slimes are lily life forms of minimal intelligence made from condensed elemental energy, but ignore them for too long and they just might become a bigger problem. Ominous. Ooh, a temple. I am way high up. How the hell did I get all the way up here? What's this? You can use that console to open the door. Ooh, fancy. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Well, I mean, yeah, there's no roof, apparently. Amber has the ability to aim and shoot. While aiming, her arrows will accumulate charge. Once fully charged, the arrow will be imbued with pyro. Oh, they're always pyro because that's her element, right? Is that how that works? Use pyro skills to ignite combustible objects. All right. Let's give this a try, Amber. Bonk. And it's dead now, right? Neat. A common chest has, ooh, experience and wanderer's advice. I don't know what wanderer's advice does. Is that more experience? Ah, okay, it does give experience. Neat. Well, can we upgrade Noelle? Because Noelle is lacking in experience. Level up. Let's use... This will get you to level 4, which is the recommended level, right? Yeah, there we go. Neat. And we'll hold on to that other stuff for now. We might use it later. And all right, let's keep on moving. Oops, I have to charge all the way up. There we go. Excellent. Uh, all right, well, I guess I should just keep Amber out for this whole mission. It's got a pretty big area of effect. Nice. Door of Resurrection activated. I don't know what that does. Use Elemental Sight to see the elemental attributes of different objects. Each element has its own color. Green symbolizes Dendro, which can be ignited by Pyro. Opponent's wood shields are attributed to Dendro, which can be ignited with Pyro skills, rendering them defenseless. How do I... Oh, it's the scroll wheel. Interesting. That is interesting. Oh, can I ignite all this stuff over here? Oh, I can. No, don't burn. My cabbage. What about this over here? Can I burn that? Is there any point to burning that? I can burn the stuff on the ground. But again, is there any point to doing that? Or is it just so that like something's standing on it? Is that what they're trying to teach me here? Maybe they're not trying to teach me anything. Maybe I'm just an idiot. All right. Well, enough of that. So this says a gate of resurrection. Is this where I come back to if I die? Is that what this is? I'm going to assume yes. But well, hello there. You have wooden stuff, so I am going to burn you. Kabonk. That didn't burn anything. Oh, no, it is. I'm sorry. Bonk. No, I missed. All right, well, now you're... Oh, well, now you're over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And in the face. Nice. One more ought to do it. And I missed. Hold on. I'll get there eventually. Bonk. Ha. Oh, no. A horn. What do you mean? The fighting must have got them riled up. Oh, that's what that means. Well, good thing I prepared my secret yeah. weapon. Explosive puppet fairy bunny. I don't know what that is. Is that the cute thing you were cuddling before? All right, well, I can't get them when they're doing that. And also, I have a new entry. What's the new entry? The wooden shield hurt. Hila, Hila churl? Hila churl? I actually haven't figured out how to pronounce that yet. I'm never going to figure out how to pronounce this stuff. I'm just going to have to go with it. Wards off attacks using a wooden shield, which is comprised of dendro. Maybe there's a way to set it on fire. Could it be with fire? When pyro meets dendro, it triggers burning, which continuously deals pyro damage until it wears off. I can't see my reticle. There we go. And bonk. And I missed. All right. Well, they keep coming over here. 
I'm just gonna come down here and fight you head on, because why not? Aha! Excellent. Nice. Oh, hello. Ah, so that's the bunny. I was like, what's, what's your E button attack? Interesting. Now what? I mean, it's cute and all. Do I shoot it? I'm going with yes. Or maybe not. I don't know. But it was interesting. Combat knowledge. Uh, some elemental skills produce different effects depending on whether you press or hold them. Okay. That's all you got for me? Okie dokie. Ooh, more experience. Nice. Lots of food over here. Which I'm guessing is important for like health recovery, but I haven't really had that problem yet. I'm sure I will eventually. We have more experience in here? We sure do. Onwards we go. Ooh, there's a lot of you in here. Can I pull this up? Boom, baby! Oh, that didn't work. Your shields are supposed to be burning. They're not burning. There we go. Oh, hi. I did not know you were there. Oh, I took damage. Excuse me while I switch characters. Shift. Haha. <laughs> I jumped. I didn't dodge, but you know. Nice. I'm coming for you. Haha. <laughs> Excellent. I'm assuming that could be burned. As well as these things over here. I don't know if I have, there's like a huge advantage to burning everything in sight, but I'm going to do it anyway. stuff despawn if I don't pick it up fast enough? Because that would be annoying. I'm kind of going with yes, because I don't see anything here. Oop, hello. I see cabbage. Excellent. Alright, what's in the chest? More experience. The traveling doctor's handkerchief. Interesting. What's this? Am I supposed to shoot it? Nice. What does that do? Can I glide? Is that what it's for? Double jump in a wind current to ride it up. I will do that. Nice. Me gusta mucho. Where's my combat knowledge here? Up currents can send you soaring up, and up high in an instant. You must jump in, open your wind glider, and enjoy the ride. I did that already. Thank you very much. What are you? Dragon's breath. Is that where the power's coming from? Is it? I don't know. Let's smash it. Smash? Did you say smash? I smashed it. Phew, I'm tired. From that, that wasn't very much. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. Sure. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. <laughs> wow, you're deep. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier, if you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I will do that some other time. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? Sure. Whatever makes you sleep better at night. Wow, that was an easy challenge to complete. Cool. Precious chest. Ooh, ore. So that's what the ore looks like. I used the little bit of ore I had to upgrade a weapon. 
And oh, leaving automatically in that amount of time. That's interesting. I mean, I don't think it's gonna matter, but uh interesting. So what was I oh yeah, experience. Let's let's divvy up some of this experience we just got. Noel could definitely use some. What do you think, Noel? Get you up to not that I've like used you for anything, but uh we can get you up to like level ten. It's using up a lot of my money. I hope I don't need that money. And I think that's that'll do it for now. All right, let's mosey on out of here. A lot more loading screens than I thought there would be, but they're not too bad. All right. Neat. Now what? Oh, there's another temple to go to. Interesting. Well... I have been streaming for a little over two hours, and I, unfortunately, have other things to do. So, I am going to quit here. But, thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I will continue playing this game pretty frequently, probably, because I'm having fun with it. Is Even though, you know, I don't have, um, like, how do I say this? I don't know what I'm trying to say. What did I start saying? <laughs> I completely blanked on what I was talking about. I, I'm enjoying this game, which is true. So um, I have no plans to play it not on stream. So follow me on Twitch uh, and watch more of this. Or you can head on over to YouTube. YouTube.com slash C slash Bassos Fang, I believe is the URL. Uh, and that's where... So I do stuff on YouTube in general. Anything that I can't do live, I do on YouTube. It's all edited and put up there and very entertaining. So you can subscribe over there for that. But also, all of my archives, my VODs, will end up on YouTube basically uh, within 24 hours after they happen here on Twitch. So if you can't watch live on Twitch, but you'd still like to watch in general, head on over to YouTube and subscribe over there, and I will upload the VODs over there. Um. I think that's all I have to say. So thank you, everybody, who tuned in to watch. I really appreciate it. I'm having fun. I hope you had fun. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. Until I end the stream here. Hold on. Where's my mouse? Hi. Bye-bye.